Hi, everybody. Time for the United Bank Playbook. Tony Caridi along with the coach of the Mountaineers, Bob Huggins. He's a little under the weather. He's got a cold because, reportedly, he's been not changing his shirt after games and going out into the cold. How big of a situation has this been for you? That's very correct. Very correct. I, how, it's not. I mean, I'm going to get me some Theraflu, and I'll be all right. You calling yourself day-to-day -day at this point? No, no. I'm, I'm probable. Probable. Probable for the game Saturday. That's good. All right. He's good to go now for the team. I was just, I, I'm so impressed with how you can now say United Bank Playbook and not screw it up. I screwed it up once about five years ago, and you just won't let me forget it. Well, you're, it's so seldom that you make a mistake. Uh, that's very nice of you. I appreciate that very much. All right, subject in hand, Florida, West Virginia. This is a good game. Um, both extremely athletic teams um, go up and down the floor. What's the biggest key as you break this one down? What has to happen for you to go down there and win? We've got to get more shots than they do because um, they're, they're a lot like us, as you said. They, they want to create turnovers. They're, they're probably better in transition than we are. Uh, they're a terrific offensive rebounding team. They, they, they fly around that rim. And uh, we've, just, we have, we've got to do a good job keeping them off the glass, limit their, their opportunities for second-chance points, and get more shots. If we get more shots, we generally win. You've been around a long time. You ever played down there? No. I've only ever been to Gainesville once. I went down there for something USA Basketball had something in Gainesville uh, one time I went down there but that's the only time I've ever been to Gainesville. Sold out crowd so it's going to be a good atmosphere. Do you, do you think your guys not knowing anything about Florida not been having been there before is that something you have to educate them on to kind of get them ready for what it's going to be? It's going to be hostile. I don't think so. I mean I, it couldn't be any worse than some of the other places that we've played and we're getting ready to go from there to Iowa State and that's that's 16,000 uh, people in there. Pretty hostile. Yeah. This is a big stretch, isn't it? When you take a look at it, uh, what you got coming up here, you got Florida, uh, you've got Iowa State, as you said, and then Baylor. Um, it, it gets hot here real quick, and Kansas, at Kansas. Yeah. I, when you th Iowa State's playing as well as anybody in the country right now. The Baylor Bears have played very well all year long, and then, of course, the rematch with, with Kansas and uh, starting out with um, – the, the Big 12 SEC Challenge with Florida, so it's yeah it's uh, that's a stretch that's uh, got to make or break us yeah, I think absolutely 17 and three West Virginia last non-conference game of the regular season coming up tip off is set for noon pregame at 11 o'clock on Saturday along with head coach of the Mountaineers Bob Huggins I'm Tony Creedy and this has been your United Bank Playbook.